my friends. Uh, welcome to a, another exciting video. This week we are going to be talking about weather. 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 It's weather. So, what is weather? Is there ever a time that we have no weather? Well, weather is defined as the current atmospheric conditions outside the air. So when it's raining, that is a type of weather. But even sunny, bright, cloudless days is considered weather. So weather is constantly occurring and we are going to explore that a lot deeper here coming up. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can tell what the current atmospheric conditions are around you. I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's talk about atmosphere. Now, the atmosphere is a blanket of gases that encompasses the earth. You guys may hear people talk about the atmosphere and like breaking through the atmosphere. Now this atmosphere is actually made up of several layers. And you can imagine these layers sort of like the parts of a bed. You have the mattress, which is like the earth. Then you have a fitted sheet and then another sheet and then a blanket and a comforter and then a throw blanket and maybe another blanket. We wanna talk about the first layer, that fitted sheet layer, which is the troposphere. In the troposphere, this is where almost all weather occurs. There is such a large movement of air that we get all these different changes in our atmospheric conditions. Tropos means change. Now, air plays a vital role in our weather. We know air actually weighs something. Um, there's actually about 15 pounds of air pressure pushing down on you per square inch, which is pretty crazy, right? Because we don't feel that air pressure, but it's there. And we've done tests to prove that there is air pressure. But air and air pressure play vital roles in weather. Now, when air gets hot, it rises and expands. Have you ever watched maybe a flame or lit a match and then looked at the air surrounding the fire and it starts to be all wiggly? Well, that is air being heated up. Now, I have a really cool video to show you an extreme case of air rising and expanding. And we're gonna sneak over to see my friend, Mr. Woosh. If you're at home watching the weather, chances are you've heard the meteorologist, the weather person, talk about high and low pressure systems. But what do these really mean? Well, to understand air pressure, we first need to understand air. There's about 15 pounds of air pressure pushing down on you per square inch. Yeah, it's like a square inch is about a little bit of my thumb here. Imagine trying to hold up a 15 pound weight using just the tip of your thumb. Pretty crazy, right? But we don't feel this pressure because our bodies are used to it. We are adapted to it. Now we know that air rises and expands when it gets hot. When air gets cold, it sinks and falls. This is where we get these high and low pressure systems. See, a high pressure system is a mass of cool air, and that normally brings bright, beautiful, cloudless, sunny days. A low pressure system is a whirling mass of warm, moist air, and that is when we get those super yucky, stormy, rainy days. Clouds, for example. Now these pressure systems are gonna be really important for us coming up in the next video. So keep those in your brains. So now we are gonna sneak over to my lab to where we are gonna make our own barometer. A barometer measures air pressure. It's an instrument that meteorologists use to measure air pressure. Ready? All right, so for this experiment, you are going to need some balloons some rubber bands, a skewer, tape, scissors, paper, and a writing utensil. First, you are going to 
cut the bottom off the balloon. Next, you're gonna stretch the balloon over the mouth of the jar. And then as tight as possible. Perfect. All right, so once your balloon is over the mouth of the jar, go ahead and just secure it with a rubber band or two, just to make sure it doesn't pop off by accident. Now that we have that, take your skewer. If your skewer is a little long, go ahead and just break it in half. And then tape the skewer onto your jar. Now you want the pointy part of the skewer to be pointing outwards because this is what's gonna help measure our air pressure. All right, so now that we have our barometer set up, we need to be able to measure the actual pressure. Take a piece of paper and line it up with your skewer and mark on the paper where the skewer lands. So I'll right here. So I made a little mark and now I'm just so this is my starting point for my barometer. When you go to set your barometer up outside, attach your paper to maybe the side of the wall and place your barometer like so. And then as the pressure changes, the skewer will go up and down and you can record exactly where it lands. Awesome. So now that we have our barometer, let's talk about how it works. Now, when we stretched our balloon over our jar, we had a base of our air pressure. So we had our neutral pressure. Now, as the air pressure increases, the air will actually push down on the balloon, causing our needle to rise. If there is lower pressure, the balloon will actually push up, causing our needle to fall. So over the next seven days or so, see if you can track the changes in pressure and maybe predict what's going to happen. Remember, high pressure, bright, clear, sunny days. Low pressure, yucky, cloudy, rainy weather. And that rainy weather will be helpful for our next video when we're talking about rains, clouds, and make a rain gauge. So in this video, we had a basic introduction to weather. Um, weather is the current atmospheric conditions. We learned that air pressure and air play vital roles in day-to-day -day weather. So keep in mind these high and low pressure systems, this movement of air, this heating of air, as we continue on through the rest of our videos. And if you like what you see here, feel free to give us a subscribe or a like on Facebook and maybe consider dropping a donation. Every little bit helps. So we can't wait to see you for the next video, which is going to be on rain and clouds. We'll see you then. Mosh Connect relies on support from our community. If you like what you just saw, please consider donating at www.themosh.org. And give us a like on social media at Mosh Jacks so you can stay connected.